Elizabeth Browning Fox discusses the topic of Native American Indians living on Hatteras Island. Liz was interviewed February 12, 2014 by Sandy Jones Garrison. Any stories that trickle down, either just oral tradition stories, interaction with Native Americans? Not in my family, although the research the, the research groups, the Lost Colony Research Group and the Hattras Family Names Groups do have some. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are several names down here that were associated. In 1800 or 1801, it was made illegal in the United States for any white people to marry people of color. It was, you know, suddenly families weren't legal because there were some that mm. were, I mean, we can tell by some of the old photos that, that folks were obviously, you could see more of the Native American lineage. What I'm told is that some families that were obviously married with children kept the woman's name after after about 1801, they kept, which suggests that maybe the man was part Indian or okay. full Indian. And, and some families, the, the names changed in an odd way. And the wills were left to people who didn't seem to be related. So there, I think the law affected people a little less out here, but obviously there was some scrutiny. Okay. So it, it became very difficult to track.